possible that comets like 67P could have their own magnetic field. It wouldn't be a magnetic field the way the Earth's magnetic field is generated, but it's possible that there could be a fossil magnetic field locked into the cometary rocky material. So our solar system formed from the collapse of a roughly spherical cloud of gas and dust. But it turns out there are a bunch of theories uh, that suggested that the magnetic fields should have played a central role in the formation of the sun and planets, an ancient magnetic field that existed in the early solar system that's not there today. So looking for this ancient magnetic field is not an easy task because you have to find something, first of all, that's very old and that's well preserved. That's what's the special role that comets play, is they're in kind of an archive of the earliest conditions of the solar system. So this is where Rosetta comes in. Rosetta is the first mission to orbit around a comet, the first mission to land on a comet. This lander carried with it a magnetometer, which measures the magnetic field. This was the first opportunity to look for records of this ancient magnetic field. No one really knew what to expect. And what the lander found, it wasn't able to detect any magnetic field coming from the comet. If there was a magnetic field around the comet, it was extremely weak. The question is, was the entire solar system magnetized? Was it only a very small part? How the solar system transitioned to the current configuration is one of the big unsolved problems in planet formation. 